National. 30th Zorajkund International Crafts Mela started at Faridabad. The 30th edition of the Zorajkund International Crafts Mela began at Zorajkund in Faridabad, Haryana on the 1st of February 2016. The event that will continue till the 15th of February 2016 was inaugurated by Haryana Chief Minister Manihar Lal Khattar. Bihar CM Nitish Kumar selected for K. Vrimani Award for Social Justice. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar on 29 January 2016 was selected for the prestigious K. Vrimani Award for Social Justice 2015. Book titled Nathu Ram Gods, The Story of an Assassin released. The book titled Nathu Ram Gods. The Story of an Assassin authored by Aina Pashok Suds I was released on 30 January 2016. The book was released at the government-owned Ravindra Bhavan in Magao, Goa by BJP leader and the Bhavan's chairman Damodar Naik. Archana Ramasundram became first woman to head paramilitary force. Tamil Nidakada IPS officer Archana Ramasundram on 1 February 2016 was appointed as the Director General of the Sashastra Seema Bal, SSP that guards India's frontiers with Nepal and Bhutan. Modi to open now your Veda meet at Kozai Code. Prime Minister Nahandra Modi will arrive at Kozai Code early this afternoon to open the vision conclave of the global Ayurveda Fest. The Ayurveda Fest, being held from January 31st to February 4th, is showcasing the Ayurvedic tradition of healing, a major Kerala heritage, to the world. The show also aims to jack up export of Ayurvedic products especially to Europe. SN Prasat assumes charge as Coal India Limited Director. SN Prasat has taken over as Director, Coal India Limited, from February 1st. According to a SIL release, Prasat has succeeded BK Saxena, who has retired. Titli became first Indian film to win Best First Foreign Film Award by French Syndicate of Cinema Critics 2016. Indian filmmaker Kanubil Directorial Titli on 1 February 2016 bagged the Best First Foreign Film Award conferred by the French Syndicate of Cinema Critics 2016. Arana Sethi appointed as first women head of Indian Cost Accounting Service. Arana Sethi, the principal advisor, on 1 February 2016 took over charge as the head of Indian Cost Accounts Service. With this appointment, she became the first woman to occupy the post. Indian Cost Accounts Service is one of the six organized accounting services of the Government of India. It is comparatively young accounting service constituted in 1978. Sereni Maestro Pandit Ramnaran has been chosen for the prestigious Bharat Ratna Pandit Bhimsan Joshi Classical Music Award for 2015-2016, Maharashtra's Cultural Affairs Minister Vinod Todd announced on Wednesday. The annual award, instituted by the Maharashtra government, is given to individuals who have excelled in classical vocal or instrumental music. Finance Ministry gets a dedicated YouTube channel. Finance Ministry now has an official YouTube channel, which is expected to disseminate information about the official events. The channel will feature videos on the major schemes, events, meetings, press conferences and other exclusive videos relating to the ministry. Although most of the activities are in public domain, yet to make it easier for the world outside to know about the same. This YouTube official channel of the ministry would be a useful platform. The YouTube channel is launched by Aaron Jaitley. Union Government Releases Hydrocarbon Vision 2030 Union Ministry of State for Petroleum and Natural Gas has released the Hydrocarbon Vision 2030 for Northeast India. The Hydrocarbon Vision 2030 outlines steps to leverage the hydrocarbon sector for social and economic development of the Northeast region. The states covered under it are Assam, Aranakal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Manipur, Nagaland, Sikkim. Mizoram and Tripura. The objectives of the plan are to leverage the region's hydrocarbon potential, enhance access to clean fuels, improve availability of petroleum products, facilitate economic development and to link common people to the economic activities in this sector.
India's first aviation park to come up in Gujarat. The state government has planned to set up the country's first ever aviation park in Gujarat near Bogodara village in Ahmedabad to strengthen the aviation sector. State government has given this task to Gujarat State Aviation Infrastructure Company Limited to carry out the project. The first ever aviation park will have the facilities including an airstrip, training school, Holipad and space for setting up small manufacturing units among others. In the later stages, this park will have small manufacturing units to produce spare parts for aircraft and also in planning to develop this park on public-private partnership, PPP. Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award 2015 Chief Executive Officer Vinita Gupta and Managing Director Nilesh Gupta Lupin Limited have been chosen the Entrepreneur of the Year 2015. Miss Vinita and Mr. Nilesh Gupta will now represent India at the World Entrepreneur of the Year Award, Boy, in Monte Carlo from 7 the 12th of June 2016. Ashok Chawla appointed as Chairman of Terry. Terry's Governing Council appointed Ashok Chawla as its new Chairman. Chawla is the former Union Finance Secretary and former Chairman of the Competition Commission. The Council decided after the elevation of climate scientist R.K. Pakori indicted in a sexual harassment case to the post of Executive Vice Chairman on Monday, received widespread criticism from the media and women's rights lawyers. Malayalam poet O. N. V. Karup passes away. Noted Malayalam poet and lyricist O. N. V. Karup passed away in Thiruvan and Thapuram. Kerala. He was 84. He was popularly known as O.N.V. Otaplatlanambia Diklvelu Kurup and had made significant contributions to the Malayalam film music. He was also was part of the progressive movement in Kerala. Playing It My Way enters Limka Book of Records. Cricket legend and Rajya Sabha MP Sakin Tendulkar's autobiography, Playing It My Way has entered the Limca Book of Records in the category of best-selling books across both fiction and non-fiction categories with 150,289 copies sold on order subscriptions. The book has been published by Hachette India in the year 2014 with Borea Majamda as the co-author of the book. The book's orders, on day one, already saw it pulling ahead of both pre-order and lifetime sales of the world's top adult hardback Stan Brown's Inferno. Walter E. Saxon's Steve Jobs and J.K. Rowling's Casual Vacancy Knott's Wires appointed as Director of Babu Atomic Research Center Distinguished scientist Knott's Wires has been appointed as Director of Babu Atomic Research Center for a term of three years. His appointment was confirmed by the Appointments Committee of the Cabinet presided by Prime Minister Nahandra Modi in New Delhi. He succeeds Shekhar Basu who was appointed as Atomic Energy Secretary and Chairman of Atomic Energy Commission in October 2015. All about Railway Budget 2016-2017 Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu presented his second rail budget this year. He kept the fares unchanged. In his budget speech, he said that for this budget he owes its inspiration to vision of PM Modi who said, My vision is to make railways backbone of India's progress and economic development. He outlined the three pillars of strategy, raise new revenues raise productivity and efficiency and revamp the processes. He also said that the core objective is to become engine of economic growth, create employment and provide customer service. Here are the highlights of the rail budget 2016, the capital plan of ours 1.21 lakh crore. Operating ratio kept at 92% financial year 17 as against 90% in current year. To generate revenues of order of rupees 184,820 CR next year which is a 10.1% higher than revised target of current year. Railways will get us 40,000 crore budgetary support from the government etc. Punjab National Bank declares 904 firms as willful defaulters. State owned Punjab National Bank has declared 904 borrowers who owed it a combined rupees 108.69.71 crore as of December end as willful defaulters. The bank added 140 companies to the list of willful defaulters over the last quarter. At the end of September, 764 companies who owed the lender rupees 9,200 crore had been classified as willful defaulters. The willful defaulters to PNB are Winsome Diamonds and Jewelry, which owes rupees 900.37 crore.
forever precious jewelry and diamonds rupee 747.98 crore zoom developers rupees 410.18 crore naft rupees 224.26 crore and s kimmer nationwide rupees 146.82 crore the bank recently declared kingfisher airlines and its current ozube holdings and which amalia as willful defaulters kingfisher airlines owes pnb rupees 1500 crore ins arigant india's first nuclear submarine ready to operate ins arigant India's first nuclear-armed submarine is now ready for full-fledged operations. The submarine has passed several deep-sea diving drills as well as weapons launch tests over the past five months. The formal induction into the naval fleet is only a political call away. The Arrogant, which is the first of five nuclear missile submarines or SSBNs planned for induction, has also undergone deep sea dives off Vishakhapatnam where it was built. A Russian diving support ship the RFS Epron that arrived on October has been accompanying the Arahant on its deep sea dives and launch tests. India's first lightest gun Nadar launched India's first indigenously developed lightest revolver gun. Nada weighing merely 250 grams was successfully launched to boost the Make in India initiative. It has been designed and manufactured by the state-run rifle factory Ishapur located in West Bengal. The Nada is lightest revolver ever made in India with cheapest price tag of Rs 35,000 only. The revolver is capable of firing 8 rounds loaded in a revolving chamber. It has a range 7 meters with precise accuracy. International WHO declared public health emergency of international concern over Zika virus outbreak. World Health Organization, WHO, on 1 February 2016 declared public health emergency of international concern over the explosive spread of the mosquito-borne Zika virus which is linked to birth defects in the Americas. The UN Health Agency convened an emergency meeting of independent experts in Geneva to assess the outbreak of the virus. The meeting was convened after noting a suspicious link between Zika's arrival in Brazil in 2015 and a surge in the number of babies born with abnormally small heads. India to participate in Cobra Gold 2016 military exercise in Thailand. The term Cobra Gold was in news on 3 February 2016 as India confirmed its participation in the annual amphibious military exercise in 2016. The decision in this regard was conveyed to Thailand, the host country, during Vice President Hamid Ansari's visit to the country. It is the largest Asia-Pacific military exercise and held in Thailand every year. It is among the largest multinational military exercise in which the United States participates. As of 2014, Cobra Gold has three distinct activities, namely, the Combined Arms Live Fire exercise command post exercise and activity related to assisting the local Thai population. It was first held in 1982 to improve coordination between the armed forces of the USA and Thailand in both hostile military and humanitarian efforts. As of 2015, the exercise expanded to include 26 nations, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, South Korea, and other South Asian and Pacific Ocean countries among others. DJ Pandian appointed Vice President of Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. Former Chief Secretary of Gujarat DJ Pandian was appointed Vice President and Chief Investment Officer of the newly created Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, AI, on 3 February 2016. His appointment as Vice President and Chief Investment Officer was approved by AI. The retired 1981 Bachiaz officer of Gujarat Kader had worked on deputation with the World Bank in Washington. He was also the MD of Gujarat State Petroleum Corporation. NASA astronaut Edgar Mitchell died. NASA astronaut Edgar Mitchell, who was the sixth man to walk on the moon, died in West Palm Beach. Florida. The lunar module pilot on Apollo 14 died at the age of 85. His death occurred on the eve of the 45th anniversary of his lunar landing, which took place on 5 February 1971. Ban appoints Major General Menon as United Nations Disengagement Observer Force Head. Major General J. I. Shankar Menon of the Indian Army, a veteran of peacekeeping operations 
has been appointed as the head of a key United Nations force stationed in Golan to maintain the ceasefire between Israeli and Syrian forces. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has named Major General Menon as the head of mission and force commander of the United Nations Disengagement Observer Force. Indo-Nepal Joint Military Exercise Suryak Iran 9 begins in Uttarakhand. The ninth edition of India-Nepal Combined Military Exercise Suryak Iran 9 has commenced at Pithurugar district of Uttarakhand. It is a 14-day military exercise focused on jungle warfare and counter-terrorism. This exercise is based on to practice counter-insurgency jungle warfare and disaster management under the aegis of the Indian Army's Gairad Division. India, China hold first joint tactical drill on border in Jammu and Kashmir. The border troops of India and China have held their first joint tactical exercise codenamed Sino-India Cooperation 2016 in Chashil Molo area along with the northern border in Jammu and Kashmir. World's largest solar plant opened in Morocco. The world's largest solar plant was launched in the Sous Massadra area in Morocco. It is the part of Nor Orwaze's 8 solar complex which will produce energy for more than 1 million Moroccan households on completion by 2018. It will also reduce carbon emissions by an estimated 760,000 tons per year. The entire project will be implemented in three phases involving construction of Nor Ori. 160 megawatts, no or 2, 200 megawatts, and no or 3, 150 megawatts. In each phase, the World Bank partially financed construction of the plant through a 97 million US dollar loan from the Clean Technology Fund. NATO and DU signed agreement on cyber defense cooperation. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, and the European Union, EU have signed an agreement to improve cooperation in cyber defense. The technical agreement signed at NATO headquarters at Brussels. Belgium will help the two in countering the modern forms of hybrid warfare. It was signed between NATO Computer Incident Response Capability NSERC, and the Computer Emergency Response Team European Union CERTU. Leslie Bassett, Pulitzer winner composer passes away. Leslie Bassett Pulitzer-winning composer passed away in Oakwood, Georgia. He was 93. As a master composer he was known for his lush sonorities and ecumenical instrumentation and for compositions of coaxing a vast range of tonal colors from the bits of wood and brass. The 13th of February, World Radio Day, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO is celebrating World Radio Day on the 13th of February. This year, the UNESCO theme for World Radio Day is Radio in Times of Emergency and Disaster. Discovery of the Century Gravitational Waves Scientists have observed a stunning discovery in their quest to fully understand gravity. They have observed the warping of space-time generated by the collision of two black holes more than a billion light-years from Earth. The scientist team says the first detection of these gravitational waves will usher in a new era for astronomy. The gravitational waves were predicted by Albert Einstein in his general theory of relativity 100 years ago in 1915. The gravitational waves were detected detected on September 14, 2015 by LIGO detectors, located in Livingston, Louisiana, and Hanford, Washington, USA. Pakistan Parliament become first in world to run entirely on solar power. Pakistan Parliament became the first in the world to completely run on solar power, a venture supported by close ally China with a whopping $55 million funding. Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in a simple ceremony switched on solar-powered building of the parliament in capital Islamabad. Vienna is the world's best city to live in. Survey. Austria's capital Vienna is the best place in the world to live, according to an international survey on quality of life that has no Indian city in the top 100. Baghdad is the worst, and London, Paris and New York do not even make it into the top 35, according to international research into quality of life. India approves $150 million credit line for Iran's Jarbuhar port. India has approved a $150 million credit line for the development of Iran's Jarbuhar port. The port in southeast Iran is central to New Delhi's efforts to circumvent arch-rival Pakistan and open up a route to landlocked.
to Afghanistan where it has developed close security ties and economic interests. Under the agreement signed last year between the two countries, India will equip and operate two berths in the first phase of development at Charbuhar port and extend a credit line of $150 million through its external lending arm. Both berths will commence operations within 18 months of the signing of a final contract. India and Iran agreed in 2003 to develop Charbuhar on the Gulf of Oman, near Iran's border with Pakistan, but the venture has moved slowly because of the sanctions over Iran's atomic program. Christine Lagarde appointed as MD of IMF for a second term. Christine Lagarde, 60, from France has been appointed as the managing director, MD, of the International Monetary Fund for a second five-year term. She was sole candidate nominated for the post and was re-nominated by IMF's executive board decision taken by consensus. Her new term will start on 5 July 2016 till 2021. Renowned novelist Harper Lee passes away Harper Lee, the author of the classic novel To Kill a Mockingbird, has died in her hometown of Monroeville, Alabama, U.S. The Pulitzer Prize-winning writer was 89. Her famous novel about a young girl's experience of racial tensions in a small southern town has sold tens of millions of copies and been translated into dozens of languages. All About 58th Grammys Award 2016 The 2016 Grammy Awards were held on February 15, 2016, at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. The ceremony recognizes the best recordings, compositions and artists of the eligibility year, which was from October 1, 2014 to September 30, 2015. It was the 16th Grammy Ceremony. Best Album of the Year, 1989, Taylor Swift, Best Record of the Year Uptown Funk Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars, Best Song of the Year, Thinking Out Loud Ed Sheeran and Amy Wajan Best New Artist, Megan Trainer. Neem Extract May Help Treat Pancreatic Cancer. Study. A new study has claimed that a natural extract derived from the neem tree can potentially be used to treat pancreatic cancer without harming normal, healthy cells. The study was conducted by scientists from the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center El Paso, Tusk El Paso. The findings were published in the journal Scientific Reports. Buff to Awards 69th British Academy Film Awards The 69th British Academy Film Awards held on 14 February 2016 in London. It has taken place in central London at the Royal Opera House. The British Academy Film Awards are presented in an annual award show hosted by the British Academy of Film and Television Arts, BIFTA. The Revenant scooped the best film, best actor and best director awards at the 69th edition of the biggest film awards outside the US. The other award of BAFTAs are as follow, Outstanding British Film, Brooklyn, Best Director, Alejandro Giannaritu, The Revenant, Best Actor, Leonardo DiCaprio, The Revenant, Best Actress, Brie Larson, Room, Most Awards, The Revenant, 5 Wins, Most Nominations, Bridge of Spies and Carol, 9 nominations each. Lamitai 2016, a joint military exercise between India and Seychelles. Lamitai 2016, the seventh edition of India, Seychelles joint military exercise has begun in Victoria, Seychelles. The 14-day exercise has been conducted at Seychelles Defence Academy, SDA, Victoria till February 28, 2016. In 2016 exercise. The Indian contingent will comprise of an infantry platoon and representatives from the Special Forces. The Seychelles People's Defence Forces, SPDF, will be represented by 20 personnel from TAZA, Special Forces Unit, and 32 from Seychelles Infantry. Apple to set up its first technology centre in India. Apple has confirmed its first technology centre in India at Hyderabad at a cost of $25 million, spread across 2,50,000 square feet, the center will help Apple develop maps and make them available in its iPhones and Mac systems. It is set to open by June, becoming fully operational by the end of the year. The facility is projected to create 4,500 jobs. India, NASA to study Ladakh region under spaceward bound program. India and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. 
NASA, entered into a partnership in January 2016 to explore the environment of LADAR under NASA's spaceward bound program. Under the partnership, a team of scientists from NASA, the Mars Society Australia and the Burbulsani Institute of Paleobotany, Lucknow will undertake an expedition to Ladakh in August 2016. During their 10-day expedition, the scientists will study the similarities of certain parts of the region's topography and microbial life to the surroundings of Mars. The 88th Academy Awards 2016 The 88th Oscar Awards popularly known as Academy Awards were awarded at the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood and Highland Center, Los Angeles. Leonardo DiCaprio is the 2016 Oscar winner for Best Actor, whereas Pre Larson is the 2016 Oscar winner for Best Actress. Chris Rock hosted the award ceremony and Indian Bollywood actress Priyanka Chopra made her debut on the Oscars red carpet and presented the award. The Oscar awards for the year 2016 were presented by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, AMPERS, in 24 categories. The Oscar for the Best Picture conferred on Spotlight. Overall, Mad Max, Fury Road has the most bragging rights, with six statuettes from ten nods in total. Best Picture, Spotlight, Best Actor, Leonardo DiCaprio for The Revenant, Best Actress, Brie Larson for Room, Best Director, Alejandro Inarritu for The Revenant Best Supporting Actress, Alicia Vikander for The Danish Girl Best Supporting Actor, Mark Rillens, Bridge of Spies Best Original Score, Ennio Morricone for The Hateful Eight Best Foreign Language Film, Son of Saul, Hungary Best Live Action Short Film, Stuttera Best Documentary Feature Film, Amy Best Documentary Short Film, A Girl in the River the Price of Forgiveness Best Animated Feature Film, Inside Out Best Animated Short Film, Bear Story Best Visual Effects, Ex Machina, Andrew Whitehurst, Paul Norris, Mark Ardington and Sarah Bennett Best Sound Mixing, Mad Max, Fury Road, Chris Jenkins, Greg Rudloff and Ben Osmo Best Sound Editing, Mad Max, Fury Road, Mark Mangini and David White Best Film Editing, Mad Max Fury Road, Margaret Sixel Best Cinematography, The Revenant, Emmanuel Lubezki, Best Makeup and Hair Styling, Mad Max, Fury Road, Best Production Design, Mad Max, Fury Road, Best Costume Design, Mad Max, Fury Road, Best Adapted Screenplay, The Big Short, Best Original Screenplay, Spotlight. Sports, Fukuoka to host 2021 World Aquatics Championships. The International Swimming Federation on 31 January 2016 announced that the Japanese city of Fukuoka will host the 2021 World Aquatics Championships. On the other hand, the Qatari capital Doha will host the 2023 event. Aditya Mita won 83rd Senior National Snooker Championship. Aditya Mita on 31 January 2016 won the 83rd Senior National Snooker Championship in Indore. Mathia Pradesh to win the title, he defeated Manan Chandra 6-3 in the final that was held as part of the National Billiards and Snooker Championship 2016. Novak Djokovic won the 2016 Australian Open men's singles title. World number no. one Novak Djokovic on the 31st of January 2016 won the Australian Open men's singles title. In the final played at Melbourne, the Serbian defeated Andy Murray of Britain in straight sets 6-1, 7-5, 7-6. With this, Djokovic retained his title and also equaled the record of Roy Emerson's record of six Australian Open singles titles. Kohli replaces Finch as no one batsman in T20 internationals. Virat Kohli was rewarded for his stupendous performance in India's clean sweep against Australia in the T20 internationals as he replaced Aaron Finch as the top ranked batsman in the ICC list for the shortest format. Bridge Bush Aunt Sharon Singh appointed as the president of South Asian Wrestling Federation Wrestling Federation of India, WFI. Chief Bridge Bush Aunt Sharon Singh has been appointed as the President of the South Asian Wrestling Federation, SOF.
An Urban Lahiri wins Hilton Asian Tour Golfer of the Year Award. The Indian triumphed at the Maybank Malaysian and Hero Indian Open before going on to finish tied fifth at the PGA Championship last year. He also became the first Indian to feature at the President's Cup and ended the year by winning the Asian Tour Order of Merit title and finishing in 40th place in the world rankings. Lahiri won the award ahead of Thailand's Thong Chai Jade. Malaysia's Danikia and Philippines' Miguel Tabuna. Rio Harriento becomes Indonesia's first Formula One driver. Rio Harriento will become Indonesia's first Formula One driver after signing a deal with Manor Racing. The 23-year-old will make his F1 debut at the Australian Grand Prix on the 20th of March after testing in Barcelona next week. Harriento replaced the Briton Will Stephens, who failed to score a point in 18 starts last year. Brendan McCullum scores fastest 100 in Test history. Brendan McCullum has blasted the fastest century in Test history in his 101st and final match for New Zealand before retiring. Brendan McCullum has a 54-ball effort that broke the record jointly held by Viv Richards and Miss Bualhack. McCullum celebrated to a standing ovation from the crowd at Hagley Oval in Christchurch, raising his bat to all parts of the venue in his adopted hometown. Australia replaces India as world number one in ICC test rankings. Australia has replaced India at the top of the world's test rankings in cricket with a 2-0 test series victory over New Zealand in Christchurch. Mumbai won Ranji Trophy for the 41st time. Mumbai on 26 February 2016 won the Ranji Trophy with an innings and 21-run victory over Saurashtra. It won the trophy for the first time in three seasons. With this, they have 41 titles in 45 finals with 10 of them being an innings victory. Karnataka stands second in the overall Ranji standings with 8 titles. It was a repeat of the 2012-13 final where Mumbai had made short work of Saurashtra with an innings and 125 run victory. Gianni Infantino elected FIFA president. Gianni Infantino was elected as the president of FIFA after winning a second round vote at Extraordinary FIFA Congress held in Zurich on 26 February 2016. He was elected as the ninth FIFA president after the second ballot in which he secured 115 of 207 total votes. He will serve FIFA for the remainder of current term of office.